There is one organ which causes high blood pressure, and it's not what you think. And there are specific exercises you can use to target and fix your blood pressure easily. No diet, lifestyle changes, or medication required. Check the link in the description below, but for now, today's question. The best you can do is control these things neither can really be cured. First, reduce the stress that, in turn, will reduce your hypertension. Relaxation techniques like biofeedback, yoga, meditation, tai chi, Drinking herbal teas like chamomile and or passion flower can all help. Put a little lavender essential oil on a tissue and sniff it every now and then. It is incredibly relaxing. I used it for my kids when they were little and had a bad dream. They named it Sweet Dreams and still talk about it and recommend it to their friends. I use a soothing lavender bath for my grandson when has fussy. For me, prayer is a biggie. Jesus has never let me down. Talking your problems out with a trusted friend, family member. Clergy and or counselor can be very helpful. You should be seeing and following up with a doctor for hypertension. You may be on medication. If you are, don't stop taking it. That can be dangerous. Good luck to you. The best you can do is control these things neither can really be cured. First, reduce the stress that, in turn, will reduce your hypertension. Relaxation techniques like biofeedback, yoga, meditation, tai chi. Drinking herbal teas like chamomile and or passion flower can all help. Put a little lavender essential oil on a tissue and sniff it every now and then. It is incredibly relaxing. I used it for my kids when they were little and had a bad dream. They named it Sweet Dreams and still talk about it and recommend it to their friends. I use a soothing lavender bath for my grandson when has fussy. For me, prayer is a biggie. Jesus has never let me down. Talking your problems out with a trusted friend, family member. Clergy and or counselor can be very helpful. You should be seeing and following up with a doctor for hypertension. You may be on medication. If you are, don't stop taking it. That can be dangerous. Good luck to you. There are two things you need to understand first. Most causes of medical hypertension high blood pressure have a genetic component. So it may not be possible to correct this without using medications. Not all stress is a bad thing. Stress helps us met deadlines saves us from danger, and gives people the thrill of riding on roller coasters or climbing mountains with ropes. Having said that, the best way to reduce unhealthy stress, such as being in an office job you hate, and to help decrease your blood pressure is to eat healthy and exercise. Weightlifting can help reduce stress and cardio exercise is great for helping reduce blood pressure. Proper diets high in veggies and low in salts and sugars will help. With blood pressure also, you should be checking with your doctor at regular intervals to monitor your blood pressure. Hypertension is not called the silent killer for no reason often there are no symptoms. The smart thing is to keep tabs on it, and follow your doctor's recommendations. There are two things you need to understand first. Most causes of medical hypertension high blood pressure have a genetic component. So it may not be possible to correct this without using medications. Not all stress is a bad thing. Stress helps us met deadlines, saves us from danger, and gives people the thrill of riding on roller coasters or climbing mountains with ropes. Having said that, the best way to reduce unhealthy stress, such as being in an office job you hate, and to help decrease your blood pressure is to eat healthy and exercise. Weightlifting can help reduce stress and cardio exercise is great for helping reduce blood pressure. Proper diets high in veggies and low in salts and sugars will help. With blood pressure also, you should be checking with your doctor at regular intervals to monitor your blood pressure. Hypertension is not called the silent killer for no reason often there are no symptoms. The smart thing is to keep tabs on it, and follow your doctor's recommendations. By keeping your life simple. Do you have a pets? They are best no jokes they have a calming effect on us humans. Apart from that here's what you can do get enough sleep. Inadequate or poor quality sleep can negatively affect your mood, mental alertness, energy level, and physical health. Learn to relax, strengthen your social network, try and juggle your job and family by prioritizing what is important and being organized. Don't let stressful situations fester. Hold family problem-solving sessions and use negotiation skills at home and at work. Nurture yourself. Pamper yourself once in a while. Go for walks. Ask for help from your near and dear ones if facing anxiety. Seek help from your doctor. 
Maintain a healthy diet is that's important too. Many things are in our own hands. We can stay happy even in worse situations by saying, It's S new day and a new beginning. I am happy. Everything is going to be fine. Be affirmative and positive. By keeping your life simple. Do you have a pets? They are best no jokes. They have a calming effect on us humans. Apart from that here's what you can do. Get enough sleep. Inadequate or poor quality sleep can negatively affect your mood, mental alertness energy level, and physical health. Learn to relax, strengthen your social network, try and juggle your job and family by prioritizing what is important and being organized. Don't let stressful situations fester. Hold family problem-solving sessions and use negotiation skills at home and at work. Nurture yourself. Pamper yourself once in a while. Go for walks. Ask for help from your near and dear ones. If facing anxiety, seek help from your doctor. Maintain a healthy diet is that's important too. Many things are in our own hands. We can stay happy even in worse situations by saying, It's S new day and a new beginning. I am happy. Everything is going to be fine. Be affirmative and positive. Exercising helps against many psychological problems. Some people feel better by doing yoga. Burned out Dutch docs often find the rest and respite they need by doing a yoga derived technique. Mindfulness, NHS, you keep you can't by yourself. Seek professional help, not seeing a psychiatrist, but a competent clinical psychologist, with whom you need to have a click with to work. They are very good at teaching you tips and tricks to better cope with stress. All the best. Exercising helps against many psychological problems. Some people feel better by doing yoga. Burned out Dutch docs often find the rest and respite they need by doing a yoga-derived technique mindfulness. NHS, you keep you can't by yourself. Seek professional help, not seeing a psychiatrist, but a competent clinical psychologist, with whom you need to have a click with to work. They are very good at teaching you tips and tricks to better cope with stress. All the best.